What is going on guys? Today I want to show you how to quickly set up emissive materials. So I wanted a separate video for this because emission or emissive materials are way cooler in Unreal Engine 5 because they actually admit light now without having to bake it. So if I were to cancel our autosave and move this around, you'll see the light source actually dynamically changes. And if I go into the material instance I've made and I set it to zero, it'll instantly just get dark and pitch black. So let's hide all our assets here so we can actually have a nice open area to make it so if you see my previous videos we've got to do right click whoops that's a level not material right click create material and we're going to go emissive stuff don't want to call it the same name as the go into there we're gonna set it up normally as like a material so free left click to get a free constant plug that into here you know two one constancies so one and left click to get those Gonna keep it not metallic and we're gonna keep it just shiny why not actually we'll make it rough we'll just make it completely rough we'll change the color to a blue and that is basically how you set up a normal material except we want to make an emissive color so you can hold one and left click and you can just plug that into your emissive and start boosting that but we're just going to get white if we do that because we're just forcing the color of white because this a value of 10 is just white multiplied basically 10 times. So we're just gonna have a mist of color of that. If you were to plug your color into there, it's gonna be emissive, sure, but you're not gonna be able to boost it to be really emissive. So the easiest way is basically grab this, drag this out, write in multiply, get your multiply node or M and left click, plug it in and then plug that into your emission that way your base color along with your emissive color will change now we'll, we'll keep this node why not we'll set it at a default of zero we'll right click it we'll convert to parameter and we'll call this emissive strength we'll plug that in now i'm not going to convert these to parameters because i don't care about changing its metallic and roughness but if we click the color we'll convert that as well and we'll write color now if i click apply we will have a material so we'll put it on both that isn't uh, isn't emitting any color at the moment because we multiplied it by zero which is exactly what i wanted because what we're going to do we're going to right click it convert to an instance because it's it's got these as parameters which means i can change them i'm going to drag that onto our second one double click it have it a little bit so i can actually see and turn the value of that to let's say two and boom We've got an emissive material. It's as simple as that. Now you can't see emitting too much light, so we're gonna push Control H to hide what we hid earlier. So H hides, but Control H will unhide it. And if I go in here, you can see we're having this really, really nice glow. This could be really nice for like fluorescent lighting or light bulbs and stuff, or lots of different reasons. You could even stage up areas by making a big uh, sort of, if I had a plane and I just wanted to light it up from a certain angle, I could make it like a little thinnish. Throw that in there and boom, we've got like this light source that I can stage up the area. Right, I could turn it to white by going into color and turning the color down. And we've got this nice like staged up. We don't need that. We've got this light source. But equally, uh, let's delete that. I could change the color to what I want. It takes a couple, it takes a very brief second to update the surrounding lighting, especially if you're not let go. If I let go of left click, boom, I'll update. Like so and then lastly you can it's very very bright uh, you can come into and reduce that if you want so it's a really low uh light and it will light the room just a little bit or you can go crazy and freaking blast it to 500 and you'll have a very lit room and yeah that's how you set up very basic emissive materials i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you in the next one